Okay, here is our room at Animal Kingdom Lodge in Jumbo House. This is one of the new renovated rooms. So when you walk in, you got a nice big mirror right here, which also acts as, just slides as the door too, yeah? Yeah, it does. To the bathroom, so. Okay, let me go back up. I guess since we're pointed this way, let's look in the bathroom. Double sinks. We've got a uh, magnified mirror right here. And we do have some toiletries. Um, we have body lotion, cooling aloe gel, like if you get a sunburn. We got some mouthwash, a vanity kit, a shower cap, and some soap. And uh, immediately, this is the first thing I noticed actually with the renovation, uh, is this Lion King picture, framed picture. This wall used to have um, wallpaper on it with, uh, of Africa. Like I don't remember exactly which, I remember Zimbabwe was on it and, um, and stuff. It was just all over this wall. And I actually really liked it. So I was a little bummed out it was gone, but change is fine. Um, we have a blow dryer. There is space underneath here to put some of your toiletries. And the bathroom has seen changes as well. Uh, we now have a glass sliding door in here instead of a shower curtain. I can't tell you what the shower curtain looked like. I don't remember. So it wasn't anything remarkable. So I can't say I miss it. <laughs> um, but now it is the, the large bottles that are refilled for the shampoo and the conditioner and the body wash. I do like the new shower heads in here though. Before it was a pretty just basic shower head. Now you've got the wand that you can use and we got the, the rain down type. So that's pretty cool. And there is a tub. So uh, it's not just a walk-in shower. And here we have more towels. And another big change was the closet space. It is different and smaller. <laughs> um, so right side we've got um, the safe. We've got extra pillows and blankets right up here. Shelf. And then kind of a nice big spot here for luggage or backpacks. So I guess I kind of like that. But you're sacrificing space to hang stuff. So this is literally it. <laughs> it's very tight. Um, I'm not really sure what's up with this. Like why this is here. Like what it does. Because it's solid right here. So I don't know if our room is weird and this is here for some sort of purpose like there's a function there's something behind this I don't know or if all the rooms are like this but um could be hiding the electric stuff yeah that's one of the things thing is maybe that's what it's doing but it leaves very little room for hanging stuff so I'm I brought a bunch of dresses but just getting these in and out everything is so tight it, it it's kind of a pain in the butt so I just we just hung our our sweatshirts in here um and I'm just keeping my dresses folded. They're cotton, it's not a big deal. So keep that in mind. If you're if you're coming for some sort of function where you have dressy clothes, you're not gonna have a lot of room in the closet. At least in one of these just basic queen bed rooms. Um, if you're staying at one of the villas, like you'll have plenty of closet space, so no worries there. Um, here we have our coffee maker. It is a Keurig. And our drinks are gonna be in this mm -hmm. down here. We've got coffees and teas and creamers and stir sticks and sugars and to-go cups, which is nice, as well as um, mugs. mugs. Yes, thank you, dear. <laughs> What's, what are those called again? Ice bucket and some glasses up here. And below that is our fridge. And again, it's the nice clear glass front ones. I dig these. I like that Dizzy switched to these versions. Can get a quick glance at what's in there. They've made recycling bins very obvious now, so no excuses, people. <laughs> recycling goes in the recycling bin. Garbage goes in the garbage bin. And some pretty little art. They it changed all the art in here. Oh yeah, I totally just didn't even mention this. Look, it's the sun in the Lion King. Uh, Was it a sunrise or sunset? I don't remember. I think it's sunrise. <laughs> anyway, I thought that was kind of a cool touch. That's pretty. Television. Um, and here's just kind of all the fun little stuff they leave out for you to. Um, here's them warning us again about the fire alarm test. Uh, the calendar of things going on. 
um, just a wildlife spotting guide. So, you know, if you're like, what's that called? When you're looking from your bed, from your room, you know, you can look at this guide and then figure it out. Your in-room dining. Um, and then they have like, this will change obviously out in and out, but this is just through, through June, the, the after hours, um, if, um, extra ticketed events. And then you got six drawers here to put mm -hmm. clothes in. Over here we've got a table with two chairs. Yeah, and this uh, is a light too. Not not the mirror, but above it, the there's a light above. And I forgot to mention all the outlets over here too. Sorry guys. There's your regular outlets and then also your um USB. USB. Thanks, Jim. I'm tired. Which I, I use a lot now. <clears throat> that was that's very helpful. It's super convenient yeah. just having the USB. I don't even when I'm coming to Disney now and I know it's a remodeled room, I don't even bother bringing the plug end for my phone. I so just this yeah. is a small thing, but these drawers they're the type that are soft clothes. Oh yeah, I mean some people like that. It's to um just so you know they're they're gonna slowly close on their own. Yep. And that's yep. to keep you from maybe slamming them and bothering the people next door and you know. Two queen beds. The one thing I will say I miss about the beds is I used to have that fly netting. Was that what you call it? It was like a netting that you put, and it was just to, it was decorative. Yeah. It was just there to, um, because in, in tents and things in Africa, they might have that netting to keep, safari. mosquito netting. Yeah. That's what it's called, that stuff. <laughs> yeah, if you were on a safari or whatever, my mosquito netting around your bed. Um, and it was just supposed to sort of symbolize that, and I got rid of them. But that's okay, they're still nice beds. Um, thanks, Dan. Here's the phone. It's a small and simple one, but it's got what you need. Uh, on all the front panel is like emergency and uh, getting a hold of the hotel staff and then um, your buttons are here. And a little notepad and more outlets. And I like that they labeled all this. Uh, so you know which lights go, you know, which, you're not like, what's this do, what's this do? <laughs> they, they have everything labeled here. So you know what's gonna turn on what which is nice, very helpful. Just a little drawer in here. Um, it does have the bed uh, book, yeah, book like lights. Yeah, a lot of uh, the New York uh, This hotels. is what they're doing in all the hotels now. All the beds have these now, as they, as they remodel anyway. Just like all the hotels are now um, getting these hard floors and the beds have space under them, so you can put luggage under there. Again, so just don't forget you have luggage under there. <laughs> um, and they're probably should have showed this from the beginning, but the little welcome letter. Um, on the other side of each bed, there's another little stand um, with outlets, which is a, a nice. They didn't used to have those. I do really like this art, and I'm trying to figure the best way to show you guys this, because it's not exactly the easiest spot to film, so I'm gonna go across and zoom in. Zoom. See, it's the Lion King. It's when Simba's being raised up. Isn't that cute? It looks like a rock. There's something else to share in yeah, here. I mean, yeah, there's the another little, 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 yeah, on the other end here with the yeah. um, with the outlets, just like on the other bed. Yeah. And here's our balcony. We have a savanna view. And right now, oh, humidity. We got some drafts. Yesterday, we had a draft like right here, right in front of us. That was pretty cool. He was munching on stuff. Is there drafts and zebras? Yeah, we saw zebras yesterday too. Really up close to the room. Now, there's only been one time we didn't get Savannah View room and we did regret it. You can still enjoy the savannah, of course, even if you don't have a savannah room, but it is kind of cool to wake up in the morning and be like, what animals are outside? And just immediately, you know, look and see. Sometimes it's like, oh, wow, so, you know, something really close that's pretty exciting. Other times, so oh, nothing. <laughs> or just some wild rabbits or, you know, bunnies are out eating. <laughs> but um, I don't know, there's just something about waking up and seeing what animals are out. Or coming back to your room in the, in the afternoon and looking and just kind of cool. We got construction going on over here, wrapping up for the day. So what they're doing is, you know, remodeling all the rooms so that they look like our room. Because those ones still look like, car, you know, just all carpet and all that stuff in them. 
and uh, yeah, each uh, balcony has, or patio, if that's what you ended up getting, um, a chair, a table, and another chair. <laughs> I like the changes to the room. What do you think? Yeah, I like it. I, I, for the life of me, I'm trying to remember. I feel like there were ceiling fans in the old ones, and now there's not. It's a lot, um, they, they had a lot more stuff cram into these rooms. Um, so I think some of the room has, uh, like, bunk beds and stuff. Um, I don't, I don't, I know Wilderness Lodge does that. I don't, I don't know if Jumbo House does that. Okay. But, um, or Kadani, I think, might, but, um. Anyway, I feel like all the Disney hotel rooms used to have ceiling fans, and now most of them do not. But one of the recent ones I, I did does still have ceiling fans. And since I'm so exhausted right now, I'm having a hard time remembering. Was it Yacht? Yeah, it was and I was really excited because <laughs> there's still a fan. Um, but the, the air in here is good. It's not like it feels stuffy or anything. So, I mean, I haven't felt like I needed a fan. So maybe Disney was like, they won't need fans. Um... That's the room. And we're going to show you around the rest of the resort now, right, Jim? Yep. And uh, eventually go eat at the Mara and at Boma. Yep. Yeah. Okay, so here's the entryway into Animal Kingdom Lodge Jumbo House, which is the original area of the resort. It was built before Kadani Village, which is the DVC section of the resort. Um, down to the left here, on this path is the buses. Uh, I'll show that to you guys a little bit later. For now, I'm gonna take you into the lobby and um, then down to the restaurants. And I love this lobby. It's just, it's, it's a little dark, but it, it should lighten up in a minute on the camera. Um, but I don't know, it makes it calming. And it's just, it's just a beautiful resort. Beautiful lobby. And when there's a Christmas tree in here, it's just, they theme it to go along with the resort. It's just so pretty. And there's too much in here for me to really show you guys. They've got lots of little like artifacts and art from African nations in here, which is really cool. Um, so right when you walk in on the left, um, there is the bell desk. Throughout the resort, you're going to find these daily adventures. And so this is one that's in the lobby that right when you walk in from outside and you make a left past the bell desk, it will list um, different things to do in the resort that day. Um, medallion robbing is literally right over here. You can kind of see on the floor there are these, like there's a really big one right when you walk in and then a smaller one over here, but Cast will come out and give kids paper and crayons and they'll sit here and they'll, they'll rub against the paper so that they can get the image off the medallion onto the paper. It's really cute. So it's an example of one of the many things they do at this resort with the kids and their story times and things like that. And there's the movies, like at all the other resorts. Um, here's check-in. Pretty lengthy. <laughs> it's pretty big because it is a big resort. Um, lots of seating, obviously, and more awesome art. It's just everywhere. So again, I'm just I might periodically stop and be like, look at this, but there's just too much in here for me to really show you guys. This dude's cool though. I'm gonna show you this. <laughs> set from Headcrest. I can't pronounce that. What is from Nigeria? Nigeria. And you're gonna find this kind of stuff all over the resort, not just in the lobby. So here's the little seating area for kiddos. Watch some cartoons while mom and dad check in or check out. There's a fun little bridge up there on the third floor, I think. And this thing is beautiful. It gives a nice description in here. About, oh, I'm just seeing my reflection. I'm not really seeing. <laughs> Sorry guys, this isn't working out, but there is a nice placard here describing this. <clears throat> so 
so when you're here, if you're here. And check that out. Here's a nice view of the um, walkout area for the Savannah. So if you don't have a Savannah view room, you can still enjoy the Savannah. And we'll walk out there in a, uh, a little later. Got some nice citrus infused water over here for you. And uh, washrooms right here. It looks like there's one of the uh, daily activities is going on over here right now. They have a nice little fire pit over here. And um, just in case this happens while I'm filming, there is a um, fire alarm test today and it's between one and four and we're in between one and four <laughs> right now. So at any point we might hear an alarm. Um, and then here's another, uh, another set of restrooms and hallways to rooms. This is looking down at the bar and I do not remember the name of this bar. I'll go down there and see if maybe there's a sign or something. It's not open right now. And beyond that is Boma. So we're gonna walk down there. To show you that. And there is construction going on too. So <laughs> in, in a few areas, um, like there's tarps over these this hallway up here because of construction. The remodeling rooms. Got a fun little bridge we're going over. You can take elevators down to uh, Boma and that, but um, we're just gonna take the stairs because that way I can stop at the, the bar over here to show you guys and then show you Boma and Chico and then take you out to where the Mara is. And then I guess I'll show you the pool and arcade and stuff over there and then we'll come back in so I can show you the gift shop and the, out, the uh, Savannah where everybody has access to the Savannah. First I gotta find Jim, where did Jim go? All right, I'm gonna find Jim and then we'll move on. <laughs> there he is. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna show him, I'm, we're gonna go down the stairs and show him the bar. Do you remember the name of the bar? The name of it? I don't either. Oh, that's yeah. what, the bar. Hang out there a lot. Yeah, we don't know the name though. I will see if um, there's maybe a menu or something. Okay, so. See on the first set of steps, and here's just this nice little bar and seating area, which is not open right now. Here's a book, and it says Victoria Falls, so that must be, like, this must be Victoria Falls Lounge, I'm thinking. I think there's another menu sitting out here. See? When there's no one here, it's super easy to get a seat and look at the menu. So let's do that. All right. Lounge fare is available from 5 p.m. to 10 p.m. So they have burgers and wings and marinated olives and goat cheese dip and cheese ch and charcuterie and a mushroom flatbread. So they got some, some little eats and beer. And signature cocktails. Ooh, good dick, good dive a chocolate martini. That's not usually what I would go for. I like sweet, but not too sweet. Some of these are a little hard to read because it's um, faded. I think that's it. It's not a very big menu, but it is a very nice little place. A nice little place to hang out. Um, and there is another entrance to it back here from an area where, of where rooms are. We were actually down the hall from this one year, so it was really um, easy to walk over to the lounge. Here's another view of Boma from up here. Nice and quiet like. I will say this hotel always smells really good and it's because of Boma. <laughs> this, this, this hotel, uh, this resort, makes you hungry because when you walk in the lobby it just immediately smells wonderful. Little indoor waterfall. 
All right, here we go. Okay, so right when you get down here, you'll notice there's some telephones and another Daily Adventures board and washrooms. So, Boma is open for breakfast and for dinner, no lunch. We are going to be having dinner here, so we'll be able to show you guys. It's very active, very loud, so expect that portion of the video to be loud. And uh, check-in is right here. This is the type of place that I would recommend um, reservations. Uh, it is extremely popular and people from other resorts bus in to eat at this, this restaurant. So, um, but here is the pricing currently. Obviously this could change if you're watching this months later after I've posted or years even. <laughs> Prices change at Disney. And right beside it on the right is Jiko. And this is dinner only. Um, we are not gonna be eating here at, um, on this trip, on this visit, um, but we have eaten here and it is wonderful. And here's the <laughs> little rules of dining here. Um, there is a kid's menu, so yes. This is just like any place in Disney, it's still kid friendly. And I don't know how well you guys can read any of this, but just to, you can obviously go online to uh, look at their menus. Um, I do know they have an excellent wine selection. I don't drink wine, but everybody <laughs> everybody says it's it's wonderful. So if you're a wine drinker, maybe look into that. I mean, they have a bunch of wine on display, like you can see it. There's wine everywhere. So I remember taking my parents here, and my mom, she did enjoy it. Um, so, and here's a bunch of elevators. So yeah, you can take an elevator down here. I chose to walk, because it's pretty. All right, so through these doors will lead us to the um, pool and uh, the Mara, which is the quick service restaurant, um, and the arcade and the fitness center. And here, this is just an example of further, like there's just water and nature and stuff everywhere at this resort, and this is why I love Animal Kingdom Lodge. It's just very peaceful. I mean, obviously the pool's gonna be loud and there's me kids playing, and they, during the middle of the day, they do the music and games with the children, so, you know, um, it's not always serene. <laughs> but, I mean, for a Disney hotel, um, it's just, you feel very, se you feel separated from the parks, but still close to them, I guess is what I'm trying to say. It feels more relaxing here. That's, yep, there we go, that sums it up. The Mara, here's the Mara. Um, and Jim and I are gonna have lunch here. Lunch here and uh, dinner at Boma. Um, I'm sure we'll find a menu inside too, but here's kind of the gist of their menu and I really like it. It's, it's pretty diverse. There's something on here for everybody. Um, lots of flatbreads and burgers and sandwiches and um, salads and all that jazz. It's a great place. Okay, uh, let's go in and show you around and get some food and stuff. Okay, we're gonna get some lunch here in the Mara. And they do have a really, I guess, a really nice menu. This is actually one of our favorite quick service um, restaurants in a resort. And I think it's the African pot pie, Jim, yep. that, that you always like to get. It's really yummy. And I actually might get it too. Sometimes I get the vegetarian falafel bites. But I don't know, that sounded good to me too. They got some nice flatbreads here. Anyway, they have a really good um, assortment, variety of foods here. And um, I'll show you guys around like the, the whole thing after we eat our lunch, the whole area. Okay, here's our African pot G. It's like a nice, um, I don't know what you call it, like almost like a stew. Yeah, on top of rice. it's very similar, it's all very similar to Indian food. It's very hearty. Very hearty. Yeah. I mean, you get a non -bread. You get a really good portion, too. How much was it? There are seats right there. Uh, there are, I think they're like eight, eight ninety nine each. Eight ninety nine. I think that's really good for eight ninety nine. That's a lot of food. Yeah, that's a uh, 
that's a really good price for Disney and almost a non-Disney price. Yeah, I know. It's crazy. All right, let's eat. All, right. All done with lunch. Jim is part of the Clean Plate Club. I'm not. <laughs> I never am. This is too much food for me. I feel terrible for wasting, but... Here, let me help. You're gonna help? <laughs> Thank you. Mmm. <laughs> it's delicious. Obviously, Jim really likes it. <laughs> okay, now that we've eaten, I'm gonna kind of show you guys around the Mara. This is just seating area. And there's, you can see this little TV back there for the kiddos to watch Disney cartoons. There are two entrances. There's one behind me. And then um, the main one that we came in on, which is right here. Okay, so when you walk in, there's penny press machines, and then there's just a few convenience things since it's right by the pool. There's some like goggles and um, little swimmers for your little, little guys, and some pool toys, and then, um, you know, like sunblocks. And then we got some snacks and candy. And then on the left over here, there's gonna be the stuff that's sort of a grab and go, like, um, or eat in if you want, the cereals. And those are out all day, not just in the morning. And then um, some snacks here. And, uh, and funny enough, <laughs> to the left of the cereal is wine. <laughs> kind of a funny locale for it, but next to cereal. So uh, breakfast for adults, I guess, <laughs> and breakfast for the kids. And then we've got more snacks. This is more like the nuts, <clears throat> dried fruit. And then we've got gummies and things here, and crackers. Okay, so here is like, in the morning, this is gonna be full of um, danishes and croissants and muffins. But after breakfast is over, it switches over to cookies and stuff. It feels like pricing. So it becomes sweet stuff after, once it hits around lunchtime. This looks really cool. I'm not sure what to look. It looks like a peanut butter cookie sandwich. I think that's what it is. Anyway, there are still some muffins in here, at the bottom and bagels, but the danishes are not in here anymore. And then uh, there's fresh fruit over here. There's also plates. This is uh, to grab your, your um, danishes in the morning. Sometimes there's bags here to go. There's not right now, so. <clears throat> we got some bread here for people that just want some bread or have toast, want to toast something. And then we've got cupcakes. Those are cute. African Sun Shine Cupcake, $4.99. Got the fried cupcake. Mini Mouth one. Then we got like cakes, actual cakes in here. Which is kind of cool. And then here's, you know, the, the menus and where you order. So you just basically get in line between these sconches here and then go up and then uh, a cast member will ask what you want. You tell them, they give you a little buzzer and a receipt and then you take that over here to pay. There are some more um, quick grab stuff over here too, so let's go look at that. Lots of nice healthy snacks over here. So we got um, some small salads. Those are $4.49. We've got veggies and dip, and some freshly cut fruit, and then just apples, and then the little cutie oranges. And then we've got hummus, pretzels, and these are ham sandwiches. And then some more salads and stuff, and then all the dressings are at the bottom down here. Yogurts and parfaits, and there's some more um, cupcakes that are in the easy to grab go area. And then this is like the kids' picks section with the little sandwiches and fruit and water and juice boxes and stuff, and milk. And beside that is water, iced tea, energy drinks, various juices, and soda pop. And then we also have chilled wine over here and beer. Oh, and uh, vitamin waters and things too, it looks like too. <clears throat> so right after you pay and you walk through the pay area, that's where you'll see the um, area to grab your there's utensils and napkins and things and your condiments and um, your beverages. 
<clears throat> and then some toppings if you were to get a sandwich or a burger are over here as well. So it's a not a huge quick service, but um, it's it's the right size for this hotel. Oh yeah, and there's the to-go station where you get stuff to leave. They have all the containers and things to put it put it in. All right, so since we went in this entrance, I'm gonna go out this one. <clears throat> well, I also want to show you guys this tree ceiling. Isn't that cool? <clears throat> We've got this fun little African mural along the wall. All right, so walk out this way. Here's the Mara sign again. Um, and there's after seating right here too. Okay, um, now that we've seen the Mara, I feel like let's should go to the left outside that door and show you the arcade and stuff. Um, just outside uh, the Mara on the left, there are washrooms and lockers and drinking fountains. And um, there's access to the pool all along here, but here's like a kiddie pool right here. Um, right, a, kind of direct, in between the bathrooms and, well, directly across from the drinking fountains is an entrance into the kiddie pool. Uh, here's Puma's Fun and Games. Open until 11 p.m., opens at 7 a.m. That's a pretty decent size. Uh, Pirates of the Caribbean pinball is temporarily out of order. No yo ho and for us. Lots of racing games again. But Disney seems to really dig the racing games. Maybe that's just what people want. Is that what everyone wants? They want racing games? Oh! Star Wars Trilogy Arcade. I haven't seen that in a while. Skylanders. Light Speed. Oh, we got some classics, guys. Space Invaders. Uh, Centipede, Missile Command, Defender, Defender 2. Always good to see the classics. So yeah, pretty decent. Again, heavy on the racing games. Just like uh, Coronado is really heavy on the racing games. Oh, Miss Pac-Man and Galaga. And they do have massage chairs in here too. I think that's a that's kind of a given now for all the arcades. There's always massage chairs. And we have pressed coins. They all say, well that's Animal Kingdom on it. Monsters Inc. Animal Kingdom. So they're not hotel coins. Um, but I mean Animal Kingdom kind of is, you know, obviously related to Animal Kingdom Lodge. Door open. Oh. Another daily adventures board and I th okay yeah yes I was gonna say I think Simba's clubhouse is this way and it is so this is where laundry is and Simba's clubhouse and Simba's clubhouse is like a um, kids club um, daycare kind of thing like you know if you want to go out and have dinner don't want to take a little guy with you this is what you do we're not gonna go in there though. Where is, and there's elevators over here. Where's the, here's guest laundry. So clubhouse this way, laundry this way. And it's pretty sizable, nice and clean. You got your soaps and things over here. There's also recycling bins for glass. Cans, plastic, and then also trash. Oh, and paper. And there's a TV, but it's not on. So, oh, remote's over here. Nice size. Okay. All right, now that we've left that area, I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna walk kind of back toward the main entrance of the pool instead of coming in on a side entrance. Um, just cause I think it'll present better and because if you're coming from like the main lobby, that'd be the way you'd enter the pool anyway. So for a lot of people, that's gonna be how you get to the pool. So that's how we're gonna do it. 
Okay, point of reference. Down this way was where we came from Boma and Chico and we walked out. And then we walked down this way. And up here and on the left is the Mara. So in between the, those doors are back into the main building and the Mara on the right is the main pool um, entryway. So you can see there's seating all along this way and this way and gate here. So when they originally built this pool, there was no gate and it was supposed to kind of feel like you were on a beach, you know, in, in Africa um, with it gradually going in. Um, like it was, what do they call that when it's a pool that you just flow, you know, walk right into? Drive me crazy, I don't remember. Anyway, it was that kind of pool. Um, but laws and stuff changed, and for safety reasons, it's kind of loud over here, I'm turning this way. They uh, put a gate around and they changed the way you get into the pool. So, it is no longer like that. Um, and that's okay, it's still an awesome pool. So there is a slide, and it's back that way, and I guess I have to go back into the gates. To, to get to it, because <laughs> so I gotta go out and in again. Uh, and there's towels and towel drop off. Um, go over this little bridge here. Actually, this is actually probably a good idea because it'll give us another view. So, right across, straight across is the pool bar, and we'll go up there too. It's a nice pool bar. And if I remember correctly, there were flamingos behind this pool, like a flamingo area, and on the left. So I'm gonna go over and see if that's still the case. Okay, so from the back side, this is the step up, where you walk up to get up to the slide. And, you, and it's one of those uh, slides where they just have a red light, green light, you know, when screen you can go. And it looks like there's a hot tub back here behind the slide. Which is not active right now because it is hot out. It's like 92 I think right now. So not ideal hot tub weather. And back here and it's pretty well shaded is the Hukuna Matata playground. So behind the pool. And there's drinking fountains back here. That's nice. Nice seating areas and hand sanitizer. Okay, let's see if I'm right about the flamingos. I can't remember if it's on this side or the other, or if they're actually the same thing, but there is Savannah viewing back here. Yeah, I'm right! There they are. Way back in the day, um, there used to be flamingos by the Mexico Pavilion in Epcot, but when Animal Kingdom opened, they moved them over to Animal Kingdom. And I'm wondering if some of these may be the offspring or from those flamingo, that these are originally Mexico Pavilion flamingo. <laughs> and uh, those talking Mickeys, or my pal Mickeys, um, that they sold back in the day, like the early 2000s, they were programmed ahead of time before uh, Animal Kingdom had opened. They were programmed that when you walked by Mexico, Mickey would talk to you about flamingos because the flamingos had been there when they programmed him. I guess they didn't get the memo that the flamingos weren't going to be there by the time my pal Mickey actually was released. So it was kind of amusing. Now those don't work anymore. If you take them around the park, they don't trigger anymore. They don't talk. There's the flamingos. But every time I walked around with my pal Mickey and he would mention the flamingos, it kind of made me chuckle. Because I'm just thinking about other guests who are like, why is he randomly bringing up flamingos? Another view of the pool from a different angle. And there's a good view of the slide too where it comes out. It's not a huge slide, but it's a cute, fun little slide. Not too scary for the little ones. Got a ping pong table here. And it looks like there is some more seating back here and um, Savannah viewing back here, so walk back this way and see. Oh, it looks like there's another hot tub too. Look at that. Yep. Another hot tub. And we've got a draft back here. He's having some lunch. Oh, there's another 
third one. Two drafts. Three drafts. <laughs> I hope that it, that video wasn't too loud when I was talking about the drafts. There was a fan going on back there because it's so hot out. Really, it doesn't matter if you heard me. All I care about is that you can see the drafts. Okay, let's go to the pool bar. So that requires us to go through two gates. <laughs> they're not locked or anything. They're, you know, I mean, when they're when it's open. So it's not like you have to keep putting your magic band up or anything. One. Two. So, here's the watering hole. Here is their menu. There's some good non-alcoholic offerings, and there is a small amount of food available here too if you ask for a menu. And they just, it's stuff that comes over from the Mara. And there's always, at least in the summer anyway, nice cold water right there too. So this spans all across and around the pool. Goes all the way around, back to where we just were. So that's the pool area. It's a nice sized pool. There is another pool and um, a water playground over at Kadani Village, which I will show you guys later. There's still a few other things I want to show you guys at Jumbo House, then we'll go over to Kadani. Okay, apparently the fitness center is kind of by the playground and I missed it. So again, here's um, where we exited the main area where the Bowman Jinko is. And if you make the right as you're um, exiting the main building, apparently going back over the bridge we were just at earlier <laughs> will take us to the fitness center. Let's go find it. Just keep following that trail and then there's um, a little sign here that'll say massage fitness center and then it'll point to the playground as if it's straight ahead but right now it's okay okay I've got this all figured out <laughs> here is the fitness center and I don't know if I'm gonna go all the way in or not we'll just kind of open up ice some AC would be nice so nice size fitness center and it doesn't say the hours it might be a 24 hour one and then the massage place I think is back here or is this rooms this is rooms so I'm guessing well I must this is massage so the massage um, stuff must also be within the fitness center but we'll let people exercise in peace. I'm not gonna go in there and film. <clears throat> so you can also access the playground this way and through a gate. Oh wait, no, that's the, that's another hot tub. Okay, nope, I'm wrong. There's a little arrow pointing this way, but really you go this way, like we did the first time where we passed the, the, um, slide stairs so it might have something to do with construction there's a lot of work being done around this resort so some of the signage might not be completely accurate right now earlier today uh, when we were walking through the hotel some of the lights were flickering and it made me giggle and I was like is this part of the test <laughs> um, that is not normal for this resort at all none of this is normal all this construction and lights flickering and hallways closed off that's not normal they're just remodeling but trying to keep the resort open at the same time and there has not been a noise problem so we're right next to where there's construction and really noise has not been an issue so if you're staying here soon and that's a concern of yours no worries it's it's not bad just a little more active in the hallways than we're used to we've stayed here i don't know a dozen times um, and yes it feels busier right now because of the construction but it's still very enjoyable all right I forgot to show you guys this little nook over here in the lobby so um, right when you pass the check-in there's like this nice little seating area and I know that sometimes they have their activities in here too um, 
Otherwise, it's nice and quiet and there's more cool artifacts to look at. And there's also um, a balcony with Savannah viewing over here too. Which we'll go out and see what we can see. And it's pretty quiet over here right now. They do have these um, little informational, I don't know what you call this, <laughs> plaques that can rotate, that kind of uh, uh, educate you on the animals that you might see on the savannah. And then they remind you, of course, do not feed them because Disney feeds them quite well. They don't need your help. Thank you, though. <laughs> All right, let's go to the other savannah that is off the lobby. There's Jim playing Pokemon Go. We're going to bail on him since he's clearly already bailed on us and go out here. So, off the main lobby at the very end, go down these steps. And out we go. Now at night there will be a fire pit. I'm not so sure if they do this when it's really hot and humid out because even at night in Florida, in the summer, it is hot. So, I don't know how many people would want to sit around that. But the rest of the year, especially in the middle, like December, January, February, it's, it gets cool out at night, so it's actually pretty enjoyable to sit around a fire out here. Here's a nice uh, view of the work being done <laughs> to the exterior of one of the buildings. And this will probably explain why animals aren't thinking this is an ideal place to hang out right now. There's water down here, so sometimes you'll see waterfowl over there. Now the construction that's on the outside, well, all of it, honestly, it doesn't start until late in the morning, and it stops pretty early, like five o'clock. So it's not something that would keep you from enjoying your evening here or wake you up in the morning. So. Again, the construction really hasn't been a problem. <clears throat> so if you're staying here anytime soon, don't, don't be too concerned about it. <clears throat> and there will be cast members out here sometimes to talk to you about the animals that are out on the savannah. Seeing anybody right now, but um, you know, it is the middle of the day, it's very hot out, and the animals don't seem to be very active out here at the moment. So they might put cast members out where there are a lot of animals in case you have questions. Oh, over there, I see something. Let me see, find out what it's called. It's not a zebra. Is it a wildebeest? No, it's not. So this thing doesn't say what it is. Some kind of gazelle, I think. Back there. I'm trying to see if I get how oh, I'm short, so this fence is in the way. <laughs> I don't know if you guys can see, it's all fuzzy. My camera's deciding to focus on the fence instead of the animal beyond it. Come on, all right. I give up, guys. Sorry, <clears throat> I'm sure you believe me again. A little loud because there's some fans and shade because it is very hot out right now. This is much more enjoyable on a cooler day or in the evening, the early evening when the sun's going down. Got more activity in the lobby. They're doing face painting over here. That's pretty cool. So there's always lots of things going on in this lobby. It's, it's really cool. It's just a beautiful lobby. I don't know if you guys have figured this out yet, but I really like this resort. <laughs> I guess we should go get Jim, huh? Are you sitting by the fire because you're cold? Mm, it's a perfect day. <laughs> it's only 95 outside. <laughs> perfect day for a fire. <laughs> okay guys, so the video is starting to get a little too long. And I, I don't like it when my videos get over an hour. And this was definitely going to happen with the Animal Kingdom Lodge uh, Resort. Uh, review so i'm going to end the video here and there will be a part two which is going to show um the gift shop at jumbo and kadani 
uh, the pool at Kadani, our uh, dinner at Boma, um, and also the Savannah View, and just the lobby and everything at, at the Kadani Village. I can't show you a room over there because we don't have a room over there, but I can show you basically everything else over at that side. So um, if you liked this video, I appreciate um, uh, hitting that like button, the subscribe button, um, and please be sure to catch part two so you see the entire resort. Thanks guys.